Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for, I don't know, 14th, 15th, something like that. Timing is fluid, could be happening right now, could be happening at any time, so this is in the very near future. Daily vibes are um, not time specific and they're not sign specific. This is a perhaps what is coming, so let's just see what we got here. What do we have for an upcoming energy? What do we got? What do we got for an upcoming energy? Two cups reversed. Right off the bat, two of cups reversed. King of Swords, Nine of Pentacles reversed. King of Cups, woo! Got two kings here. Yeah. Ace of Pentacles reversed. Somebody's gonna have a loss. This is a loss. The Ace of Pentacles reverse a big loss, too. Somebody's losing a golden opportunity. They're losing something big, okay? I don't know if this is a job or... I mean, we have the Nine of Pentacles here in reverse as well. Hmm. Something to do with a partnership. Ten of Cups reverse. Absolutely, it has to do with a partnership, a relationship of some sort. So we have a rela a rocky relationship by the looks of things. Something isn't good here. But this King of Cups is very feeling, very feeling. He, but this could be a new relationship because it's reversed. So there's a there's another there. I mean, the King of Cups has an opportunity, has an offer of love. Okay, this guy is ready for love. He's looking for love. He's very romantic. He's very charming. This could be one person, or it could be two. But this, uh, I feel like uh, this guy is on a mission. A decision has been made. A decision has been made. There's some sort of instability here. Definitely, somebody has made a decision. In regards to a partnership, this partnership is not compatible. It's unhealthy. It's just not real. It's not real. So, somebody has made a decision based on their heart, mind, and heart. Okay? Because this is mind and this is heart, head and heart, head and heart. Okay? So, but they're using their head and their heart. So, somebody is using a decision based on, you know, their head and their heart this time. But there is this this Ace of Pentacles reverse. That is a lost opportunity. So there's a lost opportunity here. A ten of Cups reversed. Five of Pentacles. This person, there's been some sort of abandonment. But this one looks very content. Seven of Cups, seeing clearly, but there's been a level of confusion. This one, if you know, for Five of Pentacles, this is kind of funny because usually the Five of Pentacles, you wouldn't look so content. This person looks very, very content, but they're going through some sort of hard times. They may be uh, suffering. Fi there's There could be some financial problems. Somebody may be suffering some financial problems. Karma works in mysterious ways, right? Um, there is definitely some financial woes here. Anyway, this Five of Pentacles is neglect or abandonment or something. This is also a card of consequences, and this one is too. So there's some sort of consequences. Somebody is suffering some sort of consequences here. And that could be their big loss. Somebody, uh, maybe, because this was like realizing something, the King of Swords may be realizing that they lost something stable. Somebody has lost something. They have, they've lost an opportunity for, for love by the looks of things with the two of cups. They, that's for a relationship, for a long-term relationship. Somebody has lost an opportunity by the looks of things. 
Maybe they made a poor decision with the Seven of Cups. They didn't choose wisely. Knight of Swords. Oh, look at that bull. That's like taking the bull right by the horns. That's one ballsy individual right, right there. So this guy, he's like, woo, he has no fear. This guy is a champion. Ugh. Yeah, I don't know. Look at him. This guy has no fear at all. All right. Um, he's on a mission. We have somebody that is on a mission. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. That's what that's what I got to say. Get out of the way. This guy, he knows he he can do it. He can do it. He's got a lot of confidence this guy. He's got some idea and He's, I feel like he's been through a period of enlightenment, really, seriously. I think we have somebody that got themselves into a relationship that wasn't compatible. It's just not compatible here. But now there's being more logical, okay? There's more logic here following their heart. So we, hmm. The Knight of Swords moves very, very fast. This is this is sudden. Okay, something could happen suddenly. This is could be a shock. There's eight of pentacles. Somebody suddenly wants to put in effort. They suddenly want to prove themselves. So somebody is coming very very fast. It's all of a sudden too. It's like all of a sudden they're rushing. They're rushing to prove themselves. And it's after they've abandoned. There's been, there's a, they've abandoned a relationship. Or, or something like that. They made a poor choice. The Seven of Cups is about a poor choice. Somebody made a poor choice. They probably got themselves into a false beginning, false relationship of some sort. I don't know. I don't know. Or they just made a poor choice and they've had time to think about it. Because it feels like we have some, somebody here has thought about it and now they're going for it. It's like, get out of my way. My, my mind is made up. Uh, I got to do this. I got to put in effort here. I got to do this. I got to work hard. So somebody is is going to be putting in a lot of effort. And should anybody get in this person's way, they are absolutely going to get hurt because this man is on a mission. Okay? He knows what he wants and he's going for it. Um, hard worker. We do have a hard worker. Somebody that is very skilled, too. This person is skilled. Um, hmm. King of Pentacles. Oh my God, we got three kings here. Ooh, so interesting. So King of Pentacles, this is coming with an offer. We This could be one person or there could be multiple people here. This could be one person taking on all, all these energies. We have somebody that is making a logical decision to, and they're following their heart and they're coming with something solid. So this person is definitely a hard worker. This person, if it is one person, this person is the whole package. The whole package. Loving, stable, smart, skilled. This is a masculine here. We have a masculine. Okay, this is very masculine energy. You guys can't change this up. Okay, this is a masculine <laughs> We have a masculine that may have some sort of regrets or something. I'm not sure what is going on, but this masculine is uh, making a move by the looks of things. And there's multiple options here. The Seven of Cups is multiple options. So if you are the feminine watching this, you may have multiple options here. Multiple options. Now this is a, this is a this is needing to make a choice. The somebody is coming and they are coming fast. There could even be four people here because this is the Knight of Swords. 
and this is multiple options I don't know what is going on but this is crazy and this is crazy four of cups we have somebody here that is discontent holding on to their to their love not really giving it away this person is holding on to what they have to offer not really giving it away taking care of themselves nine of cups uh, this is uh, things are about to get better put it if this somebody has been discontent they've been waiting they've been waiting for somebody to take their heart or to love them or something like that here it comes because this is wish fulfillment this is a dream come true this is a, obviously this woman she's pregnant this is a birth so this must be the empress and when i see a pregnant woman on a card i think of an empress so the nine of cups this is a dream come true this is it's time it's time okay it's delivery time it's time it's time. Somebody has been waiting. They've been waiting to be seen or waiting for an offer. Just sitting there waiting and waiting. Here it comes. Okay? It's time. It's time. So, this is what you've been waiting for. <laughs> Deep fulfillment is coming. Deep fulfillment. If you are single, if you are single, you're not going to be single for much longer. The Nine of Pentacles reversed. Okay? You're not going to be single for much longer. You're not. There's multiple options here multiple but this ace of pentacles in reverse that is ridiculous because that is loss that is um you didn't plan it either it could be lack of planning it's something you didn't plan for a lost opportunity Somebody's losing an opportunity. Somebody is losing an opportunity here. With the Ace of Pentacles reversed. Could be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Because that's what's surrounding it. Knight of, could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could be anybody. Knight of Cups reversed. There's, a, there's somebody that didn't follow through. They didn't follow through on an offer of love or they didn't follow through with a relationship. They didn't give their all. They weren't emotionally available. They may have been cold. They may have been withdrawn. They may have uh, not wanted to get into a commitment or something. Uh, whatever this is, there's, there's it's a false relationship. You know, somebody... Uh, may have gotten themselves into a false relationship and they've lost something beautiful. Uh, yeah, that's what we look. That's what it looks like to me. So uh, this is a false relationship because they didn't want to be alone. Somebody got into a false relationship or something like that because they didn't want to be alone or they were afraid of getting into a relationship. Because they didn't want to give up their independence. Could go either way. Because this is about independence. Either you want it or you don't. But this is a loss of independence. Somebody is somebody is giving up their independence here. And it may be and it is sudden. Okay, you didn't plan for it. This is lack of planning. The ace of pentacles reversed. This could this could there could even be an unplanned pregnancy. Okay? Just saying, because it's unplanned. There could be an unplanned pregnancy that comes up, just, just saying. Anyhow, um, somebody could be uh, somebody is, is rushing in. Somebody is rushing in out of the blue very suddenly. Um, I think it's a shock. I do feel like it is a shock. All of a sudden, this person is is is, is wanting to put in effort. They're they're gonna do whatever it takes to prove themselves. Very skilled, very skilled individual here. Strength reversed and the five of cups. Regrets. Somebody has some sort of regrets. They're sad. They're sad. They gave up. They gave up. They gave up prematurely. They may have been weak. They may have had a big ego. Somebody may have had a really big ego.
but it feels like now they're ready. They're, they're, they're ready to leave the pain behind. They're ready to leave the hurt behind. And they keep on looking back. This person keeps on looking back at what they left. They can't, they can't stop looking back at what they left. And, you know, maybe they were a coward. Some, this is cowardly. This is somebody that is a coward that has a lot of fear. So I think we do have a masculine, and it is a masculine. Okay, so I don't really care what anybody says. We have a masculine here that has been fearful. Okay, he has, this is fearful. An ego is based on fear, and his ego might have been in the way, might have been in the way of, of putting in effort. Maybe he didn't put in effort. Maybe he quit prematurely, whatever. Something happened, and I feel like he made a poor decision now his 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 queen probably has mul somebody has multiple options here there is multiple options there and we can see that there is okay i feel like uh something is about to be revealed um somebody may be asking for forgiveness this is a renewal okay um Somebody is making a life-changing decision based on their truth. They're accepting the truth. They're wanting forgiveness. They're, uh, maybe karma has kicked them in the ass or something like that. Um, this is an awakening. This is an awakening. So somebody is, is, aw is waking up. It's like they've, they've gotten some sort of wake-up call. So... I feel as though there is somebody that has made a poor choice and they have suffered some karmic consequences and it may have hit them in the pocketbook, may have hit them in the wallet, something like, or in a relationship or a partnership, something didn't work out. Now, somebody could even be being, having to pay out. Somebody may have a big loss where they got to pay out a lot of money to somebody and karma works in that way. Okay, there's a there's a decision being made, and this decision is is going to cost them. Okay, this it's going to cost them quite a bit. The nine of the pen, nine of pentacles with the ace of pentacles equals the ten of pentacles. They're both reversed. This is a huge financial loss. So somebody is going to have uh, it could be even financial ruin. Okay, and this could be a business owner uh, collapsing. Okay. Or, you know, the business going under, you know, karma works and this could be a professional. This could be a judge. Somebody could be being sued. I mean, karma works in crazy, mysterious ways. Okay. When you don't act with integrity, this is somebody in the law making a decision. This person has been doing investigation, watching. Okay. And now they're making a decision and this is a decision as well. So anyway, we could keep going all day with these cards. I feel like, uh, time it's time it's time for uh a delivery okay it's time for uh something to happen and i think whatever's gonna happen whatever's gonna happen it's gonna happen it's gonna happen suddenly you know like you think about when somebody gives birth when you give birth all of a sudden all of a sudden it's time all of a sudden it's time okay all of a sudden it's all of us all of a sudden it's time to get this blessing so there is a blessing because when you give birth, you give birth to a blessing. So there's a blessing that is coming with this nine of cups. Deep fulfillment is coming. It is coming. Um, somebody has been hurt though. They've been hurt in a false relationship. Okay. They've been going through a lot of pain. This was a gestational period. Okay. This period, there was probably some loss. There was probably some big loss or something like that, but it's not like a higher power didn't see that because now we have a blessing coming. We do have a blessing coming. We do have a blessing that is coming. Um, there's a, there is a solid opportunity. Somebody is coming with a gift or they're coming with something in their hand. Um, this person is uh, a very, very, very hard worker for sure. This person is a hard worker. They've gotten out of a relationship. They're not in. A, they they've recently gotten, or not? Maybe not recently. Maybe I don't even know how. It could be whenever. It could be ten years. It could be ten months. Whatever could be any amount of time. This person's not in a relationship. This person that is coming in is not in a relationship now. 
So if you're in a third party situation and you think this is the person that's going to leave his ex and come to you, that's not this story. Okay? Not that this person is going to leave the other person. No, I don't see that. But I do see somebody leaving a partner. Okay? Because this is a split. The Two of Cups reverse is a split. So somebody is has split or they're splitting up with somebody that they're not compatible with. And so there's a relationship here that is not compat compatible. But there is also something beautiful here, okay? This is, this is a dream come true. So there is, you know, there's a split that leads to something beautiful. So... And somebody is moving very, very fast. They are moving very quickly. They got something to say. This person has something to say. They may have been a coward in the past, but I don't think they're a coward anymore considering he's riding that bull. For any man that can ride a bull, well, <laughs> he, he must be a strong man. A very skilled man. Very capable man. He's got to be a good man if he can do that. He's got to have a lot of willpower and a lot of strength. He does. So we definitely have a, a man that has overcome his fear. And here he comes. He's like, get out of my way. I know what I want. And I'm going for it. I'm going to do whatever it takes to get it. It's something that he he's looking back at. Okay, he's looking back at it. He's been looking back at it. And now he's coming with something solid, something big, something real. He's coming with something real. Heartfelt. He's thought about it. Now it's time. Good luck.